Hey, what is going on MLB family? We are here today and you saw the title of the video and I want to get you guys in here to talk about the free packs, but also talk about investing in some things right now because there might be a little bit of stubbage to be made in it. I'm not talking about stubs right now either. It's just, we're probably a good month away, but if you have the capital to invest, it is a beautiful time. So we're going to talk about that here as well. And you know, free packs are always cool. Free, free packs are cool. And these took uh, two minutes, two minutes to do pretty basic. Uh, if you enjoyed the video, make sure you are subscribed, drop a like we've been playing baseball in underdog fantasy and we have won a ton in the last three days on our long shot picks, just a ton. It is crazy. It is awesome. I love it. Uh, if you guys want to join me, Hey, the link is in the pinned comment down below. Click on that. It should sign you up using my code. Or if you want to download the app or go to the website, uh, use code the actual CC when you sign up and they will match your first deposit up to $100, but you're here for everything else. And that's fine. It is fine. So, uh, as part of the program, today, we got a new conquest map. You've seen it face the franchise East. If you want to complete the map. By all means, you can. Uh, if you need the XP, go for it. Uh, I'll probably still try to conquer it. I'm not in a super rush at the moment, uh, but there are hidden packs and hidden rewards. Now, what I do for these and is go to like the specific spots on the map. Just go get them, restart, go get it, restart, go get it, restart. It took me literal minutes. I'm going to pop up an image here on the screen right now of the hidden rewards not too bad again super super fast even if you're not going to play the whole map make sure you go get the free packs uh we have the free packs right here now we've been playing some br this is still the old pack i'm just holding on to it but we have six show packs uh i think we got one from the astros program uh one ball in and one headliner. And last time we opened a headliner pack, we pulled Mike Trout. Can we replicate that today? Probably not. Uh, but if we get anything cool here, that would be very, very nice. Market is slowing down a little bit. Uh, on live series cards, low commons, bronzes. Uh, but still make sure you go through them all. I know a lot of people, they just open packs really fast. Again, I like to scroll back through here. The reason I do this is to check the sell now. Just to see if, oh, oh, this card is expensive. No, none of these are. But don't just have a bunch of stubs sitting in your binder for no reason like that. It's, it's not worth it. It's not worth it at all. Get your stubs. <laughs> like, just get your stubs. It's not that hard. Uh, do I expect to pull anything in these? No, no. Still remember, show packs are 1 in 50 odds for diamonds. So pretty rare they happen hey, this guy 127 stubs on the sell now there uh we'll just quick sell that and these are free packs we're not getting a ton of stubs out of it but that's fine then we have two potentially bigger packs which would be nice and also check your inventory for astros they have gone up in price a little bit uh we have a ball in and a headliners let's do the headliners i believe this was my rivera's headliners pack it was and it is so how are we doing here silver bronze silver this is why even though we have pulled mr trout in a headliner pack i do not like buying them i'll take the free ones give me all the free stuff you got i don't want these uh right here balling is a habit still no diamonds in it how crazy is that that streak is obviously going to come to an end it does not come to an end today we got jared walsh uh, and that's it. And then we got our bronze BR players here. Um, they're all, we'll, we'll make sure we take Glavin first. Uh, cause we are grinding this out and we'll take Rendon again. We're trying to collect all of these cards. Now, the big thing that happened is with that new conquest map, conquest maps come out and good things happen for us here. Prospects again. 83s are going to quick sell for 1200. So someone like Blaze Jordan here isn't a bad 
investment. And when I'm investing in cards like this, I want to be buying them as close to the quick sell as possible. 1200, you could try to risk a few stubs or you could just try to put orders in for 1200 exactly. Uh, the 84s are at 1500. There's a couple right here. You could just go put a buy order in for 1500 and literally not lose any stubs potentially. If you need the subs back, you can quick sell the card, right? Uh, there's a couple of these. Always keep your eye on them. Now, I went back to last year's videos to see the prices of prospects. And obviously things changed as this as, as year goes along. But when the big collection came out, I believe it was around May 28th. So again, we're about five weeks away. Prospects went up. But prospects are a lot easier to get this year because of these conquest maps. Because of mini seasons, right? So while they went up to 20,000, 15,000, 10,000 stubs in that range, and I think they settled around seven or eight. I'm not expecting them to go to 20, 10, 15,000. I'm not even expecting them to go to 8,000 stubs. But what I'm hoping for is that they get to 2,500 or 3,000 when necessary. And that would just be a lot of instant profit here. Uh, you see like there's more of them here and I keep buying them and I'm, I'm putting a lot of stubs into these cards again at the minimum value here. Uh, and I want to show you like, I can, I can tell you stuff or I can show you stuff. Uh, so prospects, right? We obviously completed the Adley set. Uh, but you see here, we have a ton of these cards, a ton of these cards. An absolute ton of these cards. Now, some we didn't buy any of because they never really hit that threshold. Will they still go up? I mean, maybe, but I don't know. And I don't like to take that kind of risk with my stubs. We work hard for our stubs, whether it's time or money. There's no reason to risk it. Uh, we have a couple of these guys. This one, uh, Emerson Hancock was one of the easiest ones to get. That's why we have the most. And we even see now. His price is at 2100 last night. He was at 2800. I don't know why we sold a couple off because I was happy with that profit level. I think the profit level can be higher still. So I am indeed going to be holding on here. It just makes sense. Now the same thing. You see, we have a lot of stubs and we got pretty lucky last week and I want to explain what happened here. As I was finishing the first BR program, I started getting the BR henchmen. And I was like, should I sell them or not? And I looked at the prices like, oh, they're not even that expensive. I think that the prices will start to go up. And it happened to be the same day that we got the collection for XP within the program. So cards like um, Alex Wood, right? Right here. Who's at 11? thousand stubs and they were three thousand all of them were three thousand and so i started buying a bunch of them because i was like i feel like this is a decent price and then they all happened to go massively up even the ones that aren't used went up so the only two that were really used uh i believe were jr richard and alex wood the rest still went up in price we still we still have one we kept one but he's at twelve thousand stubs oh my god we should have bought so many more and people were trying to be clever and smart and i i i, I, I totally get it you, you should be and that's why some of these other ones lou gehrig uh hunter renfro they also went up we had some of those and they only went up to about 7k but again people are trying to prepare uh rightfully so see lou gehrig's 10k that's crazy that's crazy um, but there's like no way to get them anymore. Now, cards you still can get are the gold henchmen from Seasons. Now, does will that pack stack and will they keep being in there? Maybe. So I didn't go all in on those ones. I wasn't sure how they're going to do it. So I was buying them for pretty close to quick sell. Jim Palmer, Johnny Bench, Garrett Anderson, right? The same point now, 
where we have the henchmen this time for battle royale and people seem to honestly be a little you know, a little more hip and i think that's cool uh that they are so we see nelson cruz el tuve rendon again they're, they're they're not at max price but they're they're close and it's still really early on uh we see last silvers are at maximum price right vlad jr real muto again maximum price the current silvers are not at maximum price soto and corbin burns they're not there and even the golds right now are a little high so i'm not buying the golds at these prices i had no problem buying these silvers i was trying to buy silvers um like where's some Juan Soto's in here and stuff? Corbin Burns for two thousand, uh, Soto for twenty one hundred, more Soto's for twenty two hundred. Again, we could go buy more of these as well, like to to lower our cost. But they weren't crazy different prices. I had some orders put in for eighteen hundred. I think one or two got fulfilled. But again, it's just slightly preparing with these silvers though, since we're not buying them at quick sell value. I'm not going all in. Uh, especially a rookie version of a card. I don't really know where that's going to fall. Don't know. Uh, tops now again, where is that going to fall collection wise? Not a hundred percent sure at all. Uh, and then we have the legends here as well. And simulate Barry Larkin rookie. There's a ton of rookies. There's a ton of rookies. Uh, and then Sean green again, rookie. I'm only not going all in on the rookies because again, there's just an absolute ton of them already. How many will you need for the collection whenever it comes about? Who knows, right? There's, there's a lot of rookies. Um, I will make sure I have one of each. I will do my best to get one of each and we'll go from there. Essentially. Again, we see that some Johnny benches, some Garrett Anderson's nothing really crazy. I did obviously invest in uh, some of the event diamonds as well, you know, once they go away, they're basically gone for a long time and I'm not getting these at quick sell price either. So there's a risk. I'm hoping that eventually they go up. How high can they go? <sighs> I don't know. I don't know. Maybe they don't go up at all. Right. Right. There's always risk, uh, involved there. And we've just been trying to get other cards here as well. Like David price. I, I'm. I'm not paying that much for a card right now. Houston street, his price just keeps going up. Uh, those old packs, I believe he was in like the big dog one pack or something like that. They're a little more rare. Now they're start putting out the twos and threes, but his price went up a little bit there. The primes again, not a lot of primes. Adam Dunn. We do did pick up cause I wanted to try him out. Uh, and then Steve C shake was the event reward, which is still going on and pretty sure he's a pretty good card so i wanted to make sure again if he was a rookie card i probably wouldn't have gone in on this price point but as a prime i feel like well there's just not a lot of prime cards right uh same with some of this other stuff second half heroes there's not a lot of them soriano event reward that's why we picked up some sorianos here just in case because the only other ones you can get vita blue he's a headliner ripkin is world series jason bay uh, is battle Royale one Posada world series. And the rest of these are like collection cards. So they're kind of difficult to get. And these cards are difficult to get as well. How many will they make us collect again? Who knows? It's, it's, it's so far away, so far away. Uh, and then postseason, the only card you can actually just get right now out of any pack is lefty Grove. So we picked up two of him just in case again, I, they're not hard to get, but we're just preparing and i know we are a long way off and people are still finishing the collections or you're still trying to build your team or whatever it is i always suggest like go ahead for that because trying to wait five weeks for a collection to come to raise prices is very very difficult it takes a long time and if you don't have that luxury of waiting then you know you you trying to do other stuff tops now cards right now i don't really know how that's going to fluctuate or work so I'm not invested in those. Again, I like to do things with as little risk as possible. I like to invest in cards that you can't pull out of packs regularly that aren't in reward packs from conquests or XP pass or stuff like that. Just cards that you can no longer get. So that is where we stand. We have 222,000 subs and we have an 
absolute ton of stubs invested so many stubs. I, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you how many, but we keep working the market. We keep playing the game. My goal is to get as far done as we can get as many stubs as we can buy first collection time to just cruise throughout the rest of the year to buy whatever card we possibly want. I think the stub limit is 5 million. If we hit 5 million, that would be cool. It would, I don't think we're going to, um, but I think we could potentially be around two to 3 million, uh, depending on price changes come the collection time. And that's plenty for me to do absolutely everything I want in this game. Um, so just a couple little helpful things there. Go get your free packs, sell your cards, finish your collections, grind the game out. Lots to do. Love you guys. Free great. I'm out. Peace.